Hey everybody, Crazy Dave here again at Adventures in Geocaching. Um, we are still in Rome, Georgia. Yeah, Rome, Georgia. Not Rome, Italy. Rome, Georgia. Yeah. We're going to go to our second event uh, today. Um, this one is Haunting of the Clock Tower. From what they say, it gets really spooky. There's a ghost that haunts the clock tower at a certain time each day. I think something about 7.30 tonight. So we're going to go and get in position. Come on along. This should be fun. Time approaches. Death cometh to all. And there he is now. I wasn't aware that we'd be seeing death tonight. I thought the ghost was already dead. And death bringeth company. Oh. So tell me, what brings death out tonight? Don't fear the oh, reaper. You're almost craziness. Craziness. Oh, wait, I'm Crazy a... Dave, so... Oh, no. so if you're looking for craziness, I need to go. I'm telling me out there. It looks like we've got some inspectors here to help us find what's going on at the uh, clock tower. So, uh, just never know who you run into at uh, Going Cash. Like weirdos everywhere, ain't it? Okay, yeah, folks, they yeah. finally have released us. To, We're able to go in and see that, if we can track that, down this ghost. Stuff in it. A lot of ghost hunters here tonight. Monday. Oh. <laughs> of which bike? There's a school up here. Poor kid. It looks like we've got some specters showing up now. Oh, that must be our photographers. This is why geocaching is so great. There is, you got family fun, the kids are able to come out and play. Okay, I could be wrong, but I think the spirits are coming out. <laughs> Yeah, what about the road behind them? <laughs> Rome, Georgia calls to you, Geo 
charms that I do sell here at my medicine show, so, and my lovely assistant, Miss Clara Voyant, she is in charge of the more supernatural realm, such as our seances, fortune readings, palm readings, and all sorts of different things. So, Miss Clara Voyant, if you would like to give a demonstration of your supernatural abilities. Well, I would love to have someone from the audience at some point join me so that I can communicate with the spirits of your past and tell you what the future may hold. Go ahead. <laughs> um, for example, mm -hmm. do you think, uh, um, I, I, I am feeling, wait, I am right this moment sensing the presence of a man, an old grizzled man with a peg leg named Smith. What's the name of his other leg? <laughs> That's not what I meant. Every time. <laughs> All right, now, as a um, quick demonstration of the amazing power of my potions and potables and all sorts of different concoctions that I do whip up at my own time, I would like to demonstrate a particular uh, little bottle we happen to have here. This is Professor Geist's Do It All, All in One, Extra Special. Snake oil! <laughs> this will do anything. Why, it'll clear up your acne. It'll get rid of spots on your head. It'll cut your toenails. It'll find that slipper that's been at large under the chaise lounge for over three weeks. It'll take stains off the kitchen floors. It'll even regrow your hair. You're probably wondering why I haven't used it on my hair, but unfortunately this morning I mistook it for my aftershave. As yet another demonstration of the lovely Miss Clara Voyant's supernatural abilities. If you would please turn your back to the audience, Miss Voyant. Now, now that she can't see me, I am going to think of a number between one and ten. And she's going to tell y'all what it is. So whatever you do, don't tell her I'm thinking of the number four. <laughs> I'm imagining. The drone, huh? Okay. Yes. I believe the number is. I'm sending it to you in my positive thoughts, just four. like on Facebook. Four. I believe the number is four. <laughs> she got it. And on the first try. The Sometimes it takes up with a nine. But hey, let's all give Miss Clara Vaughan a lovely round of applause. Now, in addition to her natural abilities, Miss Voyant is also an acclaimed performer of the sacred art of tarot card reading. Um, that would be tarot cards. I'm sorry, how do you spell that? T-A-R-O-T. Well, they put a perfectly good T on there, and by gum, I'm going to use it. <laughs> if you must. Oh, I must, I must. You see that? That was must, not must. <laughs> Ain't no such thing as a silent T in my world. Get on with it. If I must. <laughs> All right, now, as a demonstration of my own amazing mental abilities and charms, 
I'm going to hold a certain number of fingers behind my back. But y'all see that I can't see them. I'm going to go with three. I need a, I need a, I need a pin. And that's why we leave the supernatural stuff up to her. That's a good I one. It's always pin. a good one. Oh, well, you know, it worked both times. We've tried it. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Yeah. 10% more caches than you do currently. Totally eliminate DNS. Klaatu. Barada. Excuse me. DNF. Oh, shoot. Maybe we'll save that one for later. <laughs> you know, I noticed that there was a microphone stand out here earlier. You know, it's a, it certainly is a shame that uh, whoever was out here before us not have the natural ability to project without the need of any sort of electronic device to amplify their voice. I'd really think... It is the ample voice that you contain that allows you to speak in this way. Yes, absolutely. Uh, no, no assistance going on up here at all, That's right. whatsoever. That's right. Huh? Now, I do see you have your crystal ball with you. I do. You know, which we bring everywhere. If you look into that crystal ball, can you tell us what you see? It's very heavy. It's a little rough. I see my fingers. But that's a short one. Wait, wait. I see bright light. Very bright light. And I see that there are very dramatic things ahead. Oh, really? Very dramatic things indeed. And all of these people here are going to enjoy an incredible adventure. An adventure, you say? An adventure. An amazing adventure. Hopefully one to leave them with the pockets a little bit lighter and uh, perhaps ours a little heavier. <laughs> and their bellies full, I believe. Oh, goodness. Yes. Yes. I, I see great things in our future. But they are, it is not completely safe. It is wrought with many dangers. Dangers such as? Can you give us any sort of clue? I am not comfortable with the things that I am sensing at this moment. My goodness. Well, maybe you ought to put that down for a little bit. This is getting a little, maybe, bit, uh, maybe. A little bit macabre. We're trying to sell medicine here. Now, anybody. Let's see what else we got in my box here. <laughs> nope. Oh, nope. Save that. That's for the weekend. Uh, let's sit here. <laughs> Ah, yes. Here we have the finest uh, Professor Geis' liniment lotion. Uh, this will... Uh... Wait, this is my shoe shine. Never mind. Okay. Tastes like butterscotch. Well, I do hope you've gotten a good idea of what I do, what, I, uh, what it is that uh, Miss Clara Voyne here does at our medicine show, which is going to be in full effect tomorrow night at Rich Ferry Park. I hope to see you all there, and uh, please... Bring your pocketbooks. <laughs> you know, it certainly is warm out here. My goodness. Yes. Yes. I, I just can't get rid of this feeling that something... You're having a premonition? I am having a bit of a premonition that something eerie... <laughs> Hey, who stole my spotlight? I did not share the stage, I'll have you know.